What's going on you guys? Trucker Style Sean here. Thanks for clicking on that video. Now, I've been doing a little experiment over the last couple of weeks. Um, I've had multiple turbos on this truck. I've had stock turbo, I've had a bully dog turbo, and right now there's a stock turbo back on the truck again, but I do not have the wastegate hooked up at all now. I've actually had, uh, I've done a little experiment of messing with that, the VGT actuator on the turbo and positioning it so it's in a fixed lock position. And uh, yeah, let me show y'all how that is. Check it out. I'm back. And there it is. You see, I have the wastegate just propped up here. But I have it completely unhooked. I have zip ties holding it in the position. I've tried a few different positions on it just to see if uh, having the VGT partially closed to make it spool faster, wide open, how it is taken off and stuff like that. I found uh, basically right past midpoint and almost wide open is the best position I found, but it's just temporary. I'm gonna be welding that, uh, that plate right there as it sits so it'll be in a fixed location and we'll run that for a few months just to uh, see how see how everything lasts I don't think it'll hurt the turbo um, my EGTs have been perfectly fine my air fuels have been perfectly fine it's not throwing any codes or anything so yep doing experiments trying to get the greatest results y'all I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. You're using zip ties to hold the actuator in place. Yes, I am right now. Because I've been playing with the tension on the actuator to find out what this sweet spot is for the best fuel mileage. And I think I've got it. And, uh, yeah, my uh, fuel mileage has actually increased just a tad. And now that I have it in the position, I like it. I'm going to weld it so that it stays in that position at all times so I can get rid of the zip ties. Now, I'm gonna see how long this actually lasts. Uh, I am ordering another turbo. I'm debating to try another experiment and going probably with a Garrett GTX 55, meaning it will be a ball bearing turbo that is actually originally made for like top fuel dragsters and big big like dragster cars around 2500 horsepower so we'll see how that goes once i uh once i get it ordered and it comes in uh, i have another manifold that uh is for a t6 uh mounting for that turbo or I actually might do two experiments. I'm, I have an adapter plate that goes for this stock manifold. Well, I say stock, I, I do have a ported manifold on this truck. But to actually, uh, I have a little adapter plate and see if that actually gets the same results as a manifold that's made with a T6 flange from Bully Dog. So, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed i don't know why my face looks as red as it does y'all have a great day keep the rubber side down later y'all